Hey everyone, welcome back to Cam Keyframe. And in this video, I'm going to tell you something about camera tracking in After Effects. So I've got this uh, video right here um, of a drone shot. And what I want to do is add some text or some animation or whatever in this video, but I need to, uh, I want it to uh, three dimensionally fit within the space, within this shot. And it needs to stick to the ground. So I can do this by click, right clicking on my footage and then going to track camera and it will open the track camera effect right here. Go to advanced and click on detailed analysis to get a more detailed analysis, all right? Um, so now it's going to uh, analyze the frame, it's analyzing in the background. And what it will do, it will create hundreds of different uh, tracking points within the frame, which I can use to link uh, animations to or, or objects to. So let's just wait for that for a second. Okay, so there we go. It has tracked everything. Now it's solving the camera. And what it's going to do, it's gonna um, kind of recreate the camera that, that, that is used within the shot. Uh, so now I have all these different tracking points and uh, I can just click one of them and then I have it selected. Right click on it and I, I create something. I create a text, a solid or a null and it will autom automatically add a camera. So in this case, I'm, I'm gonna choose a text because I want I want a text layer in there and then it has created a camera and a text and the text is right there it's really small uh, so press s on your keyboard to open the scale and just scale this up uh, if I hold down shift it will scale much faster so there it is let's change that to like uh, Scotland where there's a shot uh, maybe a, uh, oh, a bit less huge and I want it to um, move it up a bit, so I'll uh, move it up on the y-axis in 3D space because it's a 3D object. Uh, yeah, there you go. The text is now 3D within the landscape. Um, yeah, really cool. Uh, what I can also do if I just delete these two um, and select a new tracking point again, I can also uh, yeah, click it, right click it, and then create a solid or a null. Um, for instance, if I want, uh, if I uh, choose solid, open that and it also makes a really tiny solid. So I'll scale that up quite a bit. And uh, then ch uh, check the rasterize button. So it will, because now it's a bit blurry because I scaled it up. If I check that, it's nice and crisp. And I want to. Um, change this uh, into a, a, an icon. I got this uh, map icon right here. And a cool little trick, if I hold down option on my keyboard and I, I have this one selected and I check this and I uh, hold down option, uh, drag it over here and just let it go. It will automatically replace that um, the thing I was selected in my timeline with the image. <clears throat> so now the image is way too big. So I'll just scale that way down. So there you go. So now the image is in my uh, in my shot uh, in 3D space. Um, yeah. So that's it. You can add anything you want in here. If you just if you create a composition with uh, with lots of uh, animations and it, it it shows up in here, just drag the composition on it on there, and you have these uh, animations within your uh, 3D space. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you have anything to um, add or ask ask me, uh, just uh, put it in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, just give it a like. It helps me a lot. Thanks. And I hope to see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>